Here we see a raised to the power of n divided by b raised to the power of n. The base numbers are different. One is a, the other is b, but they, but they both share the same exponent n. What that equals, according to this property of exponents, is that you can divide a over b without the exponent, and to the result of that division, you can apply the exponent n, the exponent that was shared here by the numerator and by the denominator. In this video, I'm going to do an example to show how this property works by comparing the result obtained from this method and from the other side of the equation. Remember, if we have a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n, different base numbers, same exponent, keep that exponent, and that exponent applies to the division of the base numbers without the exponents. a over b, parentheses, raised to the power of n. Here, we see 4 squared divided by 3 squared. 4 and 3 are the base numbers, different numbers, but they both have the same exponent 2, which is the same thing as saying they are both squared. Now that has to be equal to the division of 4 over 3, and the result of 4 over 3, then I square it. Let's see that here. On the one side of the equation, I have 4 squared divided by 3 squared. 4 squared becomes 16. 3 squares, 3 times 3, becomes 9. And inside of the fraction, I have 4 over 3. That equals 1 and 1 third, or expressed as a decimal, 1.3 with the line over the 3, meaning that the 3 is recurring. That would be equal to 1.3333, an infinite amount of 3s after the decimal point. So 16 divided by 9 has to be equal to 1 and 1 third squared. When we perform that operation, that operation we see that, that 16 divided by 9 equals 1.7 and the 7 is recurring, meaning that the 7 repeats infinitely after the decimal point. And 1.3 squared is exactly the same thing, 1.7 with the 7 recurring. So we see that on both sides of the equation, we get the same result. You can first square the 4 and divide it by 3 squared. That result will be the exact same result as if you first divide 4 over 3, and the result of 4 over 3 is then squared. Just remember, if you have a division with the different with the base numbers being different but the same exponent, you can first divide the base numbers and, the, and to that result you can apply the exponent that was shared the exponent that was shared by the two base numbers which were different in the division. <laughs> 